How many people do we have on the plane or how many people did we start out with even? We started out with 45. Okay. The team captain is named Marcelo Perez. He's injured himself, but he immediately begins to organize the rescue of the people who are trapped between the seats. Two other people that are medical students, their names are Canessa and Zerbino, jump in to help. Now, these two boys are going to have a lot of medical responsibility on this. They actually have very little experience. So Zerbino has only attended one year of medical school and spent half of it on psychology and sociology. Well, I guess that'll be useful too. It is. For instance, Zerbino sees a boy with a metal tube sticking out of his stomach, but he knows that doctors should be reassuring. Mm -hmm. So he's like, that looks fine. (laughs) That seems fine. And the boy is like, are you sure? I have a pipe sticking out of my stomach. And Zerbino's like, it's fine. Give me a hand moving these seats. Now, as soon as the boy turns to start moving the seats, Zerbino reaches over, grabs the tube and yanks it out when the boy's not looking. Wow. That's great. Six inches of intestine come out with it. Ah! (laughs) The boy's looking down at his intestine. Zerbino still, you know. Blair, we've never had a jump scare on this show before. <laughs> I just got jump scared by that. I, I Wow. I I don't know why, like, I'm so horrified by this. I don't know why I laugh when I tell it. I think it's like, it's a horror response. Exactly. I am not amused. I'm absolutely horrified. Yeah. I am somebody who like, when, when I'm scared, when I'm nervous, when I'm talking about things like this, I get very giggly. So, you know, fair warning to everybody. I don't think it's funny. You know, I, one of the things that I can't stand in horror movies is when characters know they're in a horror movie and they're not funny and they're somber the whole time and they don't really feel like real people, you know? And I feel Mm -hmm. like when we are in extreme situations, or even describing them, our natural response, a lot of us is to be like, let's make jokes. We're going to get through this if we keep making jokes. One of my favorite things about this story is that the boys will continue to play pranks on each other throughout this entire thing. (laughs) Oh, I do love humanity. I do. Yeah, it's anyway. So the medical students know that they have a social responsibility, that people are turning to them Mm -hmm. for comfort, for medical decisions, and they step up to that immediately. Mm. 